Good evening, little dreamers. Today we'll go to a magical forest where our princess named Snow White lives, who is very kind and good natured. Dear children, it is mentioned once there somewhere far away in a great kingdom, there lived a kind and beautiful princess whose name was Snow White. Her face was as white as snow, her lips were as red as roses and her hair as black as ebony. The princess grew up in a prosperous kingdom where happiness and love were shared everywhere. The king, the father of the princess, loved her very much. Her mother died when the princess was still a child. A few years after her mother passed away, the king remarried so that he could get a mother for the princess who would care and love her like a mother. The king's second wife, the queen, was very beautiful, but she was very cold-hearted. Princess Snow White always treated everyone with kindness and good manners, even her stepmother, so that she would love her, but her mother never gave her love in return. When the queen got married in the palace, she had a magical mirror, which she installed in a secret room. She would go to this mirror every day and ask, Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is fairest of them all? He would always give the same answer. You are my king. You are the most beautiful. But one day, when the queen asked the mirror, the mirror replied, The princess Snow White is more beautiful than you. Hearing this, the queen became angry jealous of the princess and began to devise ways to get the princess out of the way so that she could once again be called the most beautiful. The queen sends a hunter to kill the princess. While walking in the forest, the princess realized someone was following her. The princess turned back and saw a hunter coming towards her with a knife in his hand. The princess started to run away. Leaving behind the king hunter, she reached a deep dark forest. Because of the darkness, the princess was surrounded by fear. But the princess did not lose heart and continued to move forward. While walking, she saw a small but beautiful house. She looked there and saw seven dwarfs walking there. They used to collect pressure from the mountains in the forest. When they saw the princess, they invited the princess to come in because they too had heard stories of the princess's kindness. The princess stayed with them and took care of their house so that a small house turned into a home where everyone was very happy. On the other hand, the queen came to know that the princess was alive and started plotting to kill the princess. The queen took the form of an old woman. He poisoned an apple. She placed it in the basket of apples and left for the princess. On reaching the door, she called the princess and gave her the poisoned apple and said, Princess, hear this apple. It will remove all your sorrows and fulfill all your wishes. The princess took that apple and thanked the old queen and said, You are so generous and kind-hearted. I am very grateful to you. As soon as the princess tasted the apple, the poison spread through her body and she fainted. That old queen immediately ran away from there. After some time, when the seven dwarves saw the princess fallen, they put her in a glass jar and took her to the middle of the forest. All the animals and dwarves were very worried to see the condition of the Snow White. They were waiting for a miracle that would make the princess sit up again. Then a prince passed in the forest, who was looking for the princess. When he saw the condition of the princess, he remembered that if a true lover kisses the princess, the princess will wake up safe and sound again. So the prince gave Snow White 
are loving guests and the prince is recovered. The prince takes no white path to the palace. Both of them got married with much fun fear. Snow White and the prince gave the new color of the kingdom. There was prosperity everywhere. The subjects were very happy because Snow White and the prince were very kind and cared for the subjects. So see children, a kind-hearted and good person never fails in life. Temporary troubles may come, but then rest in his portion forever. No matter what kind of difficulty, one should never lose heart. One should always have faith and trust in Allah and keep moving forward.